Create Load Balancer for Web Applications, Section 4. In this video, I will show you how to create a load balancer on Microsoft Azure. During this video, I will cover the following. Create a network load balancer. Create a virtual network. Create virtual machines. Create a network security group, NSG. To get started, I will start with creating a load balancer from the Microsoft Azure portal by clicking on Create a Resource Networking Load Balancer. In the Create Load Balancer page, I will fill in the details and set the configuration as follows. I will use Standard Load Balancer for more flexibility in the configuration and create a new public IP address and a resource group. Once the load balancer has been created, I will create a new virtual network by clicking on Create a Resource Networking Virtual Network. In the Create Virtual Network page, I will use the configuration as follows. As you can see, I configured the name, address space, resource group, which I created before, and the subnet. Once done, I will click Create. Next, I will create a new virtual machine and configure it to use the new virtual network I just created. As part of the virtual machine setup, I will also create a new network security group, NSG, that will allow me to accept inbound connections to the virtual machines behind the load balancer. I will also configure a virtual machine with a standard public IP address by selecting Create Public IP Network Security Group. Go ahead and start the creation of the virtual machine. To create a new virtual machine, I will click on Create a Resource, Compute, Windows Server 2016 Data Center. In the Resource Group page, I will select the resource group I created before and use the configuration on the screen. I will click Next to go to the next step of the configuration. I will leave the disk as default and continue to networking. In the networking page, I will select the virtual network and subnet I created before. I will also create a new standard public IP address. Next, I will create a new network security group that will allow inbound connections to the virtual machines behind the load balancer. I will click OK to complete the NSG creation. When done, I will go ahead and create a second virtual machine using the same resource group, NSG, and create a new standard public IP address. As you can see, I selected the same virtual network, subnet, I created a new public IP address, and I also selected the same network security group I created for the first virtual machine. Next, I will create a new NSG rule to allow inbound connections to my web servers behind the load balancer. The NSG rule will allow inbound connections using port 80 or HTTP. To access the NSG, I will go to the resource group, select the resource group I created, and click on the NSG. To create the rule, I will click on Inbound Security Rules. 
I will click on Add. In the Inbound Security Rule Configuration, I will configure the rule to allow TCP connections on port 80 with any any in the source and destination. As you can see, the port range is 80, the protocol is TCP, and I'm using allow in the action. To complete the configuration, I will click on add. In this video, I used the features below.